What's going on, everybody? I'm Sha. This is the Dollar Tree. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Yes, appreciate you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you know when we upload a new video on this channel. Leave a comment section and oh, that's wrong. Leave a comment in the comment section uh, for the YouTube algorithm, please. Much appreciated. Even if you just say one or put a one or say I'm watching. Appreciate it. All right. We're gonna run this format again for a second video of me basically going over some current topics that uh, that needs to be discussed in the cryptocurrency space. Um, if you are here for the title, that's fine. We're gonna get to that. Um, no need for the timestamps in the description on this video because uh, we're just, just pretty much gonna be like a stream even though it's not streamed. So I'm exploring this uh, this type of, um, I guess, setup or delivery format. There you go. I'm exploring this type of format. We will be getting back to the charts. Yes, that is an important part of this channel uh, because, you know, I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to become successful in the market and just make you privy of what I see. But uh, let's start with this main point, which is probably why you clicked the video. Altcoin season has been enabled. All right. I got my trusty phone here. I'm going to put the topics up here in the left side of the screen for you guys. But yes, uh, altcoin season enabled. <laughs> um, now, uh, some altcoins are not enabled. They're not going to be enabled. And what do I mean by this? Okay, so some altcoins, you're going to start to see some price gains. You're going to see some gains. But I think the majority of them are just going to be recovery gains to where they broke support. To the downside my reason for this is because the last altcoin season those same altcoins did the exact same thing they had a nice run up came gave all of it back and then dumped even lower all right so again these are coins that are not in DeFi. they are not top 30 top 50 coins uh they are below the 60 million dollar market cap valuation you know that criteria that i have set and i set it for a reason all right there's a reason behind everything that i do and discuss in regards to investing in the market okay so those coins are the ones who who you're looking at you're like oh it's up 100 percent. it's up two three hundred percent but let's be real here those coins got to go up ten thousand percent just to get even remotely close to where the gains have uh, been recovered, uh, to where the uh, to be equal to the gains that have been recovered by a Bitcoin or you know even even a Litecoin because Litecoin is only a hundred percent gains off of its all time highs, so uh, you know at hundred around one hundred and fifty dollars. So keep that in mind. Uh, <laughs> keep that in mind. Um, so but yes, yeah, but all coin season is definitely enabled. But let's talk about this. Which altcoins do I think are going to perform the best throughout altcoin season? Um, it's very difficult to say, but I can already tell you uh, the coins that have been performing the best so far. One of them is Band, right? So we talked about how Band came out last year in March, 27 cents or 29 cents, went all the way up to $17. We could talk about Kava, came out, started at about 17 cents, 20 cents, ran all the way up to like $5. Uh, you know, coins like that, that spot price went up 61x, you know, 50x, you know, 60,000% gains. Uh, <laughs> coins like, um, you know, you've got the DeFi coins that came out that were, you know, running pretty hard, but gave a lot of it back. But if you talk about uh, the price upon release, to the price where it's at or price it was at its all-time high those are some of the better performing altcoins since the uptrend the entirety of the uptrend has started not including you know this recent run-up or push upward of uh, these coins you've got elrond egrd i think it is yeah egld or something like that uh let me verify for you guys but yeah you've got elrond which has been performing crazy i think elrond used to be enigma if i'm not mistaken and they came out i mean elrond spot price is up like uh if i'm not mistaken it's like uh i think it's like uh uh 
12 or 14X spot price just over the course of like a month or two. So let me see, I'm gonna check it for you guys right now. E G L D. Yep. E G L D Elrond. Currently $34. Okay, let me take a look at the chart for you guys real quick. Because altcoin season is in full swing. Alright, so it was as low as six dollars on the it was as low as six dollars on the 14th. The week of the 14th of October, six dollars, right? And it is currently thirty-four dollars and forty-seven cents. Now, if you round that off from six dollars to thirty-four dollars, um, you know, thirty-four divided by six is a you know five point six x. So, you know, five x. And what is this now? Fourteenth going on three months. It's not bad. That's pretty good gains. We can also talk about Zillica as well. Let's not forget, Zillica went from less than a penny to almost 10 cents uh, last year. Last, just within a year, it went up over a thousand percent, like way over a thousand percent in a year. Um, and that was a setup that, of course, you know, as I continue to repeat myself, I offered on the channel for you guys. If you gave me that 50 likes, you know what? I'll make, I'll make you a deal. Since it is altcoin season, I will do my best to uh, get you guys an amazing setup. Um, I will get, do my best to get you guys an amazing setup. If, as soon as we get the first 50 like video, I will get you guys an amazing setup. But let's also talk about, um, you know, the, the thumbnail, of course, all coin season enable. And in the thumbnail, you see those astronomical gains. And I'm gonna put it up here on the screen for you guys as well, because um, I need to make myself clear. Uh, this is not hype. This is not fluff. Um, and although, you know, I can give, you know, there are other YouTubers, of course, that give people tools and trading tips to make them successful. But, you know, my reasoning for, uh, you know, putting these type of screenshots out there so you guys can know that I'm serious and take me serious when I'm saying like the video, subscribe to the channel. I know something you don't know. Do that, do that. I know something. It's like, nah. <laughs> but anyway, but yes. You know, the gains are there, the gains are here. Upstream, downstream, up market, down market. I I have the tools and I will present to you the tools on the Patreon and I will give some of it away as you know a basic subscriber if you're liking the video, help grow the channel. Yes, I will be continuing to do the uh you know, give you you know the chart readings on the videos. Again, that's an important part of the channel. So 10k to 100 k challenge. Yes, I have not done an update on that. And to be honest with you, uh, before I do the update, I will say this. I'm not doing that well. RSR is doing pretty good. RSR is only up probably around 80 something percent. It was up as high as about 100 and something, like 120 percent, 105 percent. You know, of course, I put $100 in four coins. Well, three coins. The fourth coin I was already in and I had a big trade set up on. I am no longer in. So that's kind of like disqualifies me. Cause I already, you know, made the gains that I wanted to make and got out the market. But the other three coins, RSR, Kava, and uh, Band. Yes, Band. Woo -doo -doo. So Band. Yes. So those were the three coins, and Band started to pick up a little bit. Maybe I might be breaking even somewhere around breaking even. A little bit in losses right now. Kava has not really started to move yet. And then you've got um, you've got uh, what's the other one? And RSR, again, has done the best. So I'm waiting for Band to start to pick up. Kava hasn't really done anything. Band's kind of started to kind of like build a basis of support that it can um, uh, increase in price off of. But Kava, not so much. Um, I think that's pretty much it. But I will be doing an update on that. And I will give you guys the screenshots. Yes, I will reveal the screenshots. And speaking of screenshots and, you know, showing you guys the real deal, down the line, I am going to do a video about my struggles and my losses in the market. Um, I am going to talk about how um, how I did lose money, and I will show you, you know, screenshots of that of me experimenting, learning my way um, throughout the market, learning my way onto these exchanges, uh, ex uh, trying to just learn everything I needed to learn in order to be successful, and also failing when trying to implement the tools correctly to make me successful and I'll address key points 
as to how I was able to turn it around and, 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 and make it an immediate success right after I turn it around. And it's not without risk. So yeah, that was the ticket 100K challenge. I'll be giving, a, uh, giving an update on that. Listen, I also on our Instagram posted a monstrous screenshot of a setup. So make sure you follow us on Instagram because I think that's what I'm gonna start doing as well. I'm gonna start uh, probably like dishing out small tips or explaining certain things on exchanges, like little educational tips, as well as show screenshots of setups. So that's another thing. Uh, what else we got here? I don't understand. Oh, yes. Somebody asked me in the comment section because I said, I don't care about none of these coins. I don't care about holding any of these coins. I just want to increase my dollar or and or stable coin value amount. So somebody asked me, why would you want to increase? Um, why would you want to increase something that has an infinite supply? Listen, at the end of the day, the majority of payments at the moment is taken in your native fiat currency. And just because I said I want to increase that doesn't mean I'm not going to be able to uh, use that money to earn money, right? Because remember, we have DeFi and crypto. So I can easily use stable coins and other crypto assets that I accumulate and lock them up in these DeFi projects and earn interest. You know, not the crazy yield farming, but just arbitrage. Like, I will, I will inform you guys about arbitrage as well on the Patreon. And we'll dive deep into arbitrage for those people who just have a large lump sum of money and just don't mind earning, you know, 8 to 12% APR annually on their income. All right. So that's another thing as well. So my reasoning for not wanting to hold these coins as well and go into a stable coin and or fiat is, of course, volatility. You know, the market is going to correct at some point. It, it might correct while I'm doing this video. Everybody's portfolio might take a 40 to 50 percent hit. But do you have cash on the side? Which is why you need to be building that cash on the side to be back into the market and double down on your investment. So when the recovery happens, you're back to a, to a solid point. All right. So th that's 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 that. And um, that's that's just that. Right. I want to be able to know I have plenty of money on the side in stable coins or in fiat. So when price uh, changes. Uh, in, in the market happen for when cycle changes happen in the market, right? So let's, you know, let's kind of skim ahead to the cycle change and when we go bearish, you know, a lot of guys are going to be trying to catch falling knives on these altcoins that may have these, you know, these subtle run-ups during the bear cycle. And during the bear cycle, these gains that we're having right now, they won't last. They go up, people take profits and the, and the price continues to the downside. And, um, but yeah, I already talked about, you know, revealing my success, revealing, uh, you know, my failures, the failures. I'm definitely going to be, I'm definitely going to be talking about that. Um, but here's the reality of it. When you know what you're doing, the failures are far and in between, right? The failure is more of a reset than it is you making a mistake. Because once you understand the market, the charts and the cycles, it's, it's much, uh, your failures is pr pretty much going to be a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's going to be on you making emotional decisions among uh, other things. But let's talk about that V chain jump, right? So V chain finally broke that 2.3 run, 2.3 cent run up from the summer, right? Now I made my V chain price prediction 10 to 15 cents. Uh, and I said that that is very, very, very bullish. That is 10,000% gains over the course of this bull run. All right, 10 to 15, um, 10 to 15 uh, cents. Somebody also asked me, do I think uh, VeChain was gonna go to like $2? That's that's crazy, $2? With as much coin, with as many coins that they have in circulation and how you know their, their blockchain and everything is set up, $2 is, uh, if anything, is a long-term, long, long-term play. And remember what I said, I don't like holding coins over a long period of time in this market because, hey, a new coin may come out and completely change the game and make other things null and void. Uh, what else we got? Multiple setups on one asset. So the one thing I want to talk about as well is I notice a lot of people, they're in this coin, that coin, this coin, that coin. They're in like 10, 15 different coins and their total 
um, portfolio value is less than fifty or hundred thousand dollars, you might be shooting yourself in the foot. Not financial advice, but <clears throat> see, here's the beauty of operating within a, a, a smaller amount of coins, especially when you're managing your own individual portfolio. I think the benefit to this from my personal experience, and you can go on our Instagram and see what that experience looked like, the dot dollar dot tree. Um, it is, especially once you learn the charts, it is easier to maximize the gains from those particular coins because you start to understand where the resistance and the support is. And with the necessary tools, you can uh, implement systems uh, and or those set tools to increase your profitability on runups. So if there is, let's say, um, let's say Algorand, right? We're expecting 60% a, a gains out of an Algorand run up to a dollar, you know, per se, uh, you know, just hypothetically speaking. If we're expecting that, if you're in, if you're using these particular tools, you can turn that 60% into 80% or, or more, depending upon market uh, price action, all right? So that's what I mean. Once you understand that coin to a T, then you move on to the next coin and expand your portfolio because it's less of a risk to reward that you'll be taking due to your knowledge and understanding of the first coin. You can, you'll be, you know, you're less susceptible to risk moving on into a, an additional coin. Algorand update and chain link update. Okay, let's wind down. So yes, I've got the Algorand update coming. We are in profits. That is a free setup early on in the channel. You're welcome. We are in profits on our Algorand. Our zoning strategy, which I will unveil the entire aspect of the zoning strategy. If I hear anybody say zoning strategy or else on you, uh, anybody else say zoning strategy on YouTube or take that strategy or, or, or join the Patreon, and you know replicate that strategy and improve on it that's fine just give me the credit please that'd be much appreciated um uh not trying to be arrogant or condescending but i think it's fair that we you know we boost each other up but yes i will be revealing all of that on the patreon algorand is in profits that was a free setup with our zoning at 2670 or 27 since swipe we are still waiting on the swipe move to be made we are below our accumulation line and not in profits at the moment chain link got to give an update on chain link because it did break to the downside i remember about two chain link update videos ago i talked about how you know if you just gotta get in now like oh my god it's gonna go up to one hundred fifty thousand dollars tonight and you just had to get in it was not a good idea, clearly, because it broke to the downside. So I gave you potential uh, targets for that downside. We ran down to that $9 area, of course, and you should have been. That's how you should have been with chain link. Give me this. Give me that chain link. Give me that chain link. That's how you should have been. All right. So those updates are going to be coming so we can get back to the charts. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Appreciate everybody for watching. I'm Sha. This is the Dollar Tree. Don't forget to check us out on social media so we can be much more active. And I'll see you guys in the next video.